Hello everybody and welcome back to operation research discussion. This is a special case of transportation problem which is maximization transportation problem solution. Commonly in the previous lesson uh, 12 and lesson 13 we have discussed about the most common type of transportation problem that is the minimization case. In that case in the case of minimization the transportation problem is concerned about to minimize the cost required to transport the materials from the source to the destination. But in this lesson, which is a special case of transportation problem, it is a maximization transportation problem. Unlike that of lesson 12 and lesson 13, by the way, you can refer back to lesson uh, 12 and lesson 13 just to have uh, some idea about the common type of transportation problem that is minimization in this case it is maximization maximization transportation problem that's the objective of uh, this particular lesson is to find the initial feasible solution for the balanced transportation maximization problem there are certain types, by the way, there are certain uh, cases, certain types of transportation problem where the objective function is to be maximized instead of the most common type that is minimized. So in such circumstance, when we face a transportation problem having objective, having maximization objective function, this kinds of problem can be solved by converting first converting the maximization problem into minimization so first we have to convert we have to convert the maximization problem into minimization so here we have to know how we can convert the maximization into the, max, the minimization the conversion of the maximization into minimization is done by subtracting subtracting the unit cost from subtracting each of the unit costs from the highest unit cost of the table. Anyway, we will see it through example how the conversion can be done from maximization to minimization. Look this example. A company has three factories located in three cities, that is X, Y, Z. These factories supply packages to four dealers. Four dealers, A, B, C, and D. The dealers are spread all over the country. The production capacity of these factories, these are the production capacity, because in the case of transportation, uh, there are another issue that is the supply and demand. We have to uh, take care about the capacity and the demand requirements. So the production capacity of these factories is uh, 310, uh, 100 and 290 units per month respectively. The net return per unit product is given in the following table. So unlike the previous and the most common transportation problem uh, that was discussed in lesson 12 and lesson 13, here what's provided is that in the previous two lessons, in the previous uh, lesson that is lesson 30, the per unit cost to transport a unit from one location to the other location will be pro, uh, uh, was provided in the table but here the net return per unit product is given right here this is the, the main difference so in the table what we get is that here is the net the net profit the net return per unit product when we transport from x to A we get 6 from X to B we get 6 from X to C we get 6 and from X to D we get what 4 4 so this is the maximization transportation problem so to determine the suitable to determine a suitable allocation to maximize the total return so we have to maximize the total return because uh, uh, given is not the cost rather the net return per unit product so we have to determine a suitable allocation to maximize the total return 
how we determine first we have to convert this maximization to minimization so the point is how is the conversion can be done the problem is maximization as uh, we see and this converting to minimization conversion is done by subtracting each unit cost from the highest unit cost the highest unit cost by the way they are not cost actually they are not cost they are the per unit return the per unit return so eight is the highest unit cost it is the highest unit return actually uh, it's better to say return so subtract all the unit cost from the eight and then we get the revised minimization transportation table so eight is the maximum as you see eight is the maximum unit return so just to find out the opportunity cost or the missed cost by the way we have to subtract all the per unit return from this maximum and we get what we get from the original table uh, once we subtract all per unit uh, return from the maximum per unit return that is eight we get what this table for example here eight minus six so here it becomes two and eight minus six two eight minus six it is two eight minus four it is four eight minus four it is four eight minus six it is eight minus two sorry eight minus two it will be six eight minus four it is four eight minus five it is three and so on right and so on so we get uh, this table so now onwards now onwards uh, it becomes a minimization so once it becomes a minimization we can use the methods that we have uh, listed that we have discussed previously in lesson 13 that is we can use either northwest corner method we can use the minimum sale cost method we can use vogel's approximation method anyway now we can use uh, one of the three methods one of the three methods if you want to have uh, uh, some idea or if you want to understand or to do uh, examples with each of them so you can return back to lesson 30 and you can do uh, with all of the two uh, with all of the three uh, mechanisms or methods i mean now let's do with the minimum sale cost method as you remember in lesson 13 the the minimum sale cost method uh, concerned about the unit transportation cost uh, by the way it is based on or it is the improved versions of what the northwest corner method because the northwest corner method just ignores the transportation cost which simply selects the upper left hand corner variable and assigns to the value but with the minimum sale cost method it is the uh, improved version of the northwest the initial allocation is made to the sale with the lowest cost the lowest cost so there are steps first we have to select the list cost we have to select the list cost allocate as much as possible to the feasible sales and adjust demand and supply cancel the row and column with zero supply or demand let's do the uh, example so from here we have to select what we have to select the minimum cost by the way now in the original table they are per unit return but now they become the cost per unit cost they become the opportunity cost the opportunity cost so we are talking about the we are saying this uh, values found in the table cost not return right because we already converted from maximization to minimization thus Uh, by the way here is we can minimize the table as uh, like this like this then we have to select the list cost that is zero zero is the list here as you see zero is uh, the list so we have to assign we have to assign allocate to the sale that is zero uh, so from this there is 300 from this there is 290 so we, we can assign 290 
and we uh, we can cancel 290 from here and we can subtract 290 from 300 so 10 remains 10 remains and then now we have to what what we have to do is that adjust the supply and demand we have uh, already adjusted and then we have to cancel the row because we already finished this one right this one we already finished this so we have to uh, shed the this row like this and the next task is to select the minimum cost again that means to repeat this step again so uh, from the remaining the smallest uh, cost is two by the way two here there is two two so we can use one we can le let me uh, let me select the first two we, we can select either so by selecting this here we get 150 uh, corresponding uh, uh, the corresponding number is 150 and 310 so we, we have to assign the minimum that is 150 here and we have to cancel this 150 150 then what we have to do is we have to subtract uh, 150 from 310 and we put 160 here then now once we adjusted the supply and demand let's uh, cancel let's cancel the column because in this column in this column there is no value all are assigned right all are assigned so we have to shed we have to shed uh, the uh, column then again we have to repeat we have to repeat uh, the same step again so we have to select the minimum cost that is two let's uh, let's select two and let's assign 100 here 130 and here is 160 let's assign 130 here when we assign 130 so the bottom 130 uh, will be cancelled and the 160 here uh, we subtract 130 from 160 and we get 30 30 remains so now we have to shed the column we have to uh, after adjusting the supply and demand uh, we get what we have to shed the column because there is no remaining values now uh, let's repeat the steps again and the minimum value is uh, zero um, sorry two so when uh, two is the minimum so we have to assign there are corresponding values 120 and 100 uh, sorry 30 so we, we can assign 30 here uh, assign 30 then adjust the supply so 30 is cancelled from here and 30 is subtracted from 120 120 so 90 remains here as you see after adjustment uh, the we have to cancel the row because already assigned so we have to shed what we have to shed the upper row then we have to repeat the step again now we have to select the minimum that is the minimum is three as you see three is the a minimum three is a minimum then allocate to the sale so correspondingly there is 10 and 100 so we have to assign 10 then after assigning 10 we have to subtract 10 from 100 and 90 remains 90 remains but this column this column uh, is already finished so we have to uh, shed this column we have to shed this column because already assigned so we have to shed like this and the last step is we have to select again the minimum uh, by the way uh, only four remain so we have to select four there is no other option so we have to assign nine there is 90 and 90 from both sides so we have to ni assign 90 and we have to cancel from both sides because it is already assigned and we have to shed we have to shed either the column or the row so when we shed it becomes like this right like this then as you see from uh, this shed region so 150 is assigned to this cell with uh, this cost and this as you see this highlighted uh, cells are assigned they highlighted one uh, two three four five six these are assigned and now don't forget that we start from the maximization 
transportation problem. So don't forget the values. These values are just the converted value. The converted value, that means we already convert the maximization into minimization. Thus, we have to remember. We have to remember the previous one. So here, the basic feasible solutions by least cost method is X11, that means the first cell, the first row, the first uh, column, 150, the first row, the second column, 130, the first row, the third column, 30, second row, third column, as you see, 90, uh, second uh, row, fourth column, 10, and third row, fourth column is 290. So now don't forget, as I said, don't forget that our original problem is the maximization transportation problem. So we have to return back. We have to return back to the original table. That is, as you see, here is the original table, by the way. This one is the original table. So keeping this original table, we have to We have to remember the per unit return, per unit return, right? We have to remember the per unit return, and we have to uh, we have to align those assigned values with the per unit return. We have to multiply. We have to multiply to get the feasible solution. We have to multiply this assigned with the corresponding per unit value, and we get what? We get four thousand. 590. This is the maximized total return. This is the maximized total return by assigning on the first in, on this cell, on this cell, on this cell, on these six uh, assignments, uh, on these six uh, locations, assigned locations. So this is all about uh, how to calculate, how to find out the initial basic feasible solution for tra uh, maximization transportation uh, problem. So you can use another method, uh, northwestern corner method, or uh, what is the other method, Vogel's approximation method, and so on. If, if, by the way, if it is unbalanced, you can add the dummy variables. The only difference between the minimization transportation problem and maximization transportation problem is that in the case of maximization transportation problem first of all you have to change the maximization problem into minimization problem once you convert the minimization problem uh, into minimization problem so you can just use the methods that we have discussed in lesson 13 the common types of transportation problem this is all about today's discussion, which is a special case of transportation problem that is maximization. So thank you for listening. Have a good time. Bye.